Shai Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. This is uh, Romans chapter 10, verse 1. Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. All right, so even with that just being said, not all Israel will be saved in this second go around, okay, in this second deliverance that the Lord is going to do for the children of Israel, which represents the bun. Uh, children really goes into bun, which means sons of Israel, you know, but well, there is going to be women that are going to be delivered as well, but it starts with the men, all right, without the men. You know, women could never get to the kingdom. So, you know, women should be praying for the men of the Lord to wake up. Should be praying for the prophets, the teachers, to wake up and to be sealed by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That would be a righteous prayer for you to pray. You know, because without the men, you can't get to the kingdom. All right, the Lord is going to seal 144,000 men. 12 tribes, I mean, excuse me, 12,000 men of each each of the tribe. And within those households, you're going to be women, children, you know, older men, older women, all right, one third, okay? Uh, Which all make up the elect. So not everybody is going to be delivered on this side. You know, this is why here at Great Millstone, you know, we're taught in the scriptures by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and from our apostles, okay, who's the, who are the heads, you know, that, because it's obvious the scriptures get all into it about the elect, okay, the elect, man. So it says, brother, in my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High is that they might be saved, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, but not according to knowledge. And this is why they're not going to be saved. Well, the two thirds is not going to be delivered on this second go around because they have a zeal toward the most high, but not according to knowledge. And the Lord is about knowledge. You know, right now, the knowledge is that you supposed to know who you are. All right. As a so-called Negro, West Indian, Haitian, Hispanic, Native and Seminole Indian, you supposed to know who you are as an Israelite. OK, you supposed to, you know, know the name of the Lord. You should know who your enemy is. You should know who Esau Edom is. All right. You should know who Ham is, Ishmael is. All right. The knowledge in, in, in which the prophecies. Okay. You should know the time and season, you know, that you're living in. All right. And be aware that Yahweh Shah is on his way. Because the scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times so what's going to keep us stable is the knowledge and the wisdom you should know what the mark of the beast is you know so anyway for i bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high but not according to knowledge for they be, for their being ignorant of most of god's righteousness all right which the word ignorant you know we all know the word ignorant means to not know i just want to see what it says here in the blue letter to be ignorant, not to know, not to understand, unknown, to err, or sin through mistake, to be wrong. So basically, you two-thirds, you are wrong, man. You're wrong, all right? So to be ignorant, that means you're wrong, all right? You will sin, okay? You will go off. So it says, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. Exactly. All right. Because Jake want to want to do what they want to do. You know, they pick and choose in the scriptures what it is that they want to do. You know, if they like it, they go with it. If they don't like it, they don't rock with it. You know, Jake is something else, man. All right. Let me read that again. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. All right. See, you... You, you go out and, to, and you establish your own shit instead of reading the manuscript and getting with the program. You know, the program is already set. Yahweh Shai set it up. The Most High gave his word to great men. And these men went out and taught this truth. All right. 
taught this truth in, in the name of the Lord. Okay, back behind faith. So if you of the elect, of the hopeful elect, you're going to get this truth, man. All right, you're not going to make up your own program. You're not going to do what you want to do. You're going to get down with the program which was already set. All right, if you believe in the Lord and know that the Lord is going to return, you must understand common sense that the Lord obviously had set up something on earth so that his followers, his sheep can follow him. Right? Right? <laughs> you know, isn't that the most common sense? Like, if you know, if you believe, I'm not talking to the non-believers. I'm talking to the so-called believers. If you believe in the Lord and you know he's coming back, don't you know that he, shouldn't you know that he set up something in the earth to where his sheep could follow him and, and, and uh, in all honesty and truth and spirit, right? You know, you think that, every, you know, you know, just because if y'all call upon any name, that's a form of me believing. So I should be in there. No, it don't work that way. The most high, you know, gave his name. Matter of fact, it says in the Apocrypha, the elect shall praise his holy name. So only the elect is actually going to call upon the Lord. See, the Lord is only dealing with the elect, you know, and the elect is going to get that name. They're going to get that, uh, that knowledge. Okay. They're going to receive that wisdom. All right. It says for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness and have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh for Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for the righteousness to everyone that believeth. All right, because, you know, does that mean that we don't keep the law? It's not saying that. Yahweh Shai, you know, he gave us fit. Yahweh Shai came and gave us grace. Okay? You know, he gives us grace from the law. Because obviously, we already broke the law. And this is why we're in the condition and that we are in now. You know? This is why we are we in this condition, man. You know, this is why we come. We have to come back to the Lord. Because we broke the Lord's law, so Yahweh Shai was the one that was that that laid his life down, okay, for the elect of Israel, which represents all of Israel, all right, that we could have grace toward the law and, and come back. So it says, for Yahweh Shai is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth, all right, because I could you know easily get scriptures Baruch four and one. Uh, what's that? Judges 5, I think, and 11. They shall rehearse the righteous acts. Root 4 and 1 says um, uh, the, the law endure forever. Because you got simple Jake out here that think, you know, when they go to these churches and they've been taught by these pastors and preachers, these poor child pastors and preachers, you know, that they, it's, you know, the law doesn't, doesn't, doesn't exist. You know, the law is done in a way with, I should say, you know. Now, the law is in effect. That's how two-thirds going to get judged, man. That's how you're going to be judged when judgment day come. If there was no law, how can you get judged? <laughs> it's common sense sometimes could just, you know, eliminate the bullshit. If you have common sense, but what they say, common sense ain't that common today. You know, because common sense could really eliminate the bullshit. You know? How, how is that? If you believe the Lord is going to come and people are going to be judged, how are they going to be judged? They're going to be judged according to your feelings. They're going to be judged according to what you dislike and what you like. No, they're going to be judged according to the Lord's law. Okay. Anyway, verse five, for Moses describeth the righteous, the righteousness, which is, which is of the law, that the men, that the men, which doeth those things shall live by them. But the righteousness, which is of faith, Speaketh on this wise Say not in thy heart Who shall ascend into heaven That that is To bring Yahweh Shai down from above Alright because the way that the Lord Left is the way that he's going to come back Now he left alright being taken up You know he came back After the third day He risen the third day and he uh, Spoke with the uh, disciples He showed them himself You know he proved himself and then he was taken back up. All right. What's that in Acts? When the two two men, the angels, they said, why are you gazing up the same way? The same way he was taken, the same way he's going to come back. All right. So let me read that one more time. It says, um, it says, or who shall descend into the deep? Matter of fact, 
uh, six. But the righteousness which is of faith. See, righteousness right now, you know, is really of faith, man. You know, we rehearse righteous acts, man. All right, so that it could it could boost our faith by keeping the ordinances, you know, striving to be in order. All right, which is obeying by the Lord's law to the best of our ability, man. Okay, so it says, but the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart, which is your mind. Don't say in your mind, who shall ascend into heaven that is to bring Yahweh down from above. And that proves that you don't have knowledge. If you sitting there having this thought in your head, well, who gonna go up there and bring them down? <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, you don't be don't be surprised, man. Jake thinking the most craziest shit, man. We hear a lot of crazy shit at camp, man. And also, brothers get crazy comments from Jake, man. You know, Jake bugged out, man. But that's not having the knowledge, you know. Because Yahweh Shah is going to come back when prophecies are, is, is uh, fulfilled. You know? Let me uh, get to it again. This is uh, verse 7. It says, Or who shall descend into the deep? That is to bring to bring up Yahweh Shah again from the dead. You know, somebody may think, well, somebody got to go into the, to, the, to the earth and pull them up and bring them from the dead. You know, and that's when they perform in witchcraft, man. You know, you know, the elders, apostles, they're getting into it about witchcraft, starting with Apostle Tahar. You know, that's going out with the black woman. You might think that you got to conjure up your high shot. <laughs> you know, hey, Jake, 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 really that nutty out here, man. You know, uh, verse, verse eight. But what say it? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach. So we preach the word of faith. And the ones that can't get it is because you're not listening. In all reality, you know, the Lord have blinded you, man. You know, blinded you. Gave you eyes that you shouldn't see and ears that you shouldn't hear. So, you're not listening. You know, a lot of you guys skip over the men of the Lord because we're not out there looking like shiny gold. We're not glittering. We don't have the theatrics. You know, some brothers don't have the massive camps. And got the all, you know, all the same garment colors on and parading across the street and the Esau's army style, you know, making a whole lot of noise. Brothers is making noise. All right. But people don't, if they're not entertained, they're not going to listen. They're going to go where the entertainment at. You know, whoever's the entertainment at, that's where they go. But the Lord ain't dealing with the ones that can entertain. Because if, if he wanted to do that, you know, as the apostles say, you know, he would have had grabbed the best celebrities, the best entertainers, you know. He would have went out there and got, you know, the ones who who makes everybody laugh today. You know, who could do it the best. You know, he's dealing with, with plain, simple men. You know, men in sackcloth. Men that that's going to teach the truth in spirit and in truth, okay. Men that's going to preach salvation, Okay, show you the way of salvation. You know, so let me read that again. It says, but what say it? The word is nigh. Exactly. The word is nigh. The word is near you, man. The word is on the street. Does not the scripture say wisdom cries out in the streets? She utter for word and it's in the place of concourse. But you ignoring it. <laughs> you know, until the wrath of the Lord come upon you. And then you're going to look to find. You know, you're going to look to find these men. And thinking that these men supposed to teach you. You might even run into the man. The man of the Lord. You know. Man of the most high. But guess what. He ain't teaching you. You ain't going to make it. If he don't accept you in. I'll say that. You know. He might pull you in his household on that day. If he live. The Lord have his life as a pilgrim. But if not. That's your ass man. You know. So it says. Uh, but what say yet. The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth. And in thy heart. That is the word of faith, which we preach. That's why we tell you, man, this thing of ours is all about faith. I'm riding in my car blind right now. It's snowing out here. My fucking defrost, my, my, my heater core ain't working. Got to get it fixed. But I can see. <laughs> I can see. All right. You know, through the spirit and power of your house, Bosh, me, I was shot. Through the spirit and power of your house, Bosh, me, I was shot. Some way I can see. All right. 
I'm making my way. <laughs> you know? You know, I just wanted to put that in there. Because yeah. I can't see shit. But, uh, hey, you know, I'm going to just, uh, let me see if I can read another verse. I'll wrap it up with that. Uh, this is verse 9. It says, that if thou shalt, excuse me, let me uh, get past this cop. All right, it says, um, verse 9. It says, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai, yeah, because it's all about confession, man. You know, the Lord want to see you confess and not be ashamed of him. What's that, Mark 8, 38? He that is ashamed of the Lord, the Lord shall be ashamed of him. You know, because you got to, man, listen, you can't be sitting here trying to, you know, be a secret, secret disciple. I mean, some are, like celebrities, be believed, they're changing their ways, watching the prophets, you know. Mm -hmm. But guess what, man? It's going to come a point where you're going to have to confess the Lord, man. You're going to have to be bold with it, man. You're going to have to choose, you know, even though you don't have a choice. But guess what? The Most High going to put you in that spot where you're going to have to choose him or you're going to choose the world, man. So it says uh, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Yahweh Shai and shall believe in thy heart that the Most High have raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. All right. So you got to believe in Yahweh Shai, man. You can't be ashamed of the Lord. For with the for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesses is made, confession is made unto salvation. You see? For the scriptures uh say, Whosoever believeth on him shall be shall not be ashamed. And that whosoever is whosoever of Israel. You know, don't get it twisted. You know, we have something called uh the speckled bird, you know, where you have Israelites that may look like the other nations, but in their spirit they're an Israelite. Right, he may look like an Edomite, he may look like an Ishmaelite, he may look like a Hamite, but guess what? If he believe, hey, he's an Israelite, man. You know, and he have, and guess what? It says, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So he's not gonna be ashamed. We're not ashamed of the Lord, man. We're not ashamed of preaching this gospel, which which is actually good news, man. We're not ashamed. It says, for there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, as as I was speaking. Because Paul getting into the Israelite foreigners, man. All right, the Gentiles, which were who Paul went to, were Israelites. All right, but what they did, these Israelites were Hellenized. You know, they took on the customs and the ways of the actual heathens. All right, so that's what that's what Paul means when he says to the Jew and to the Greek, you had Israelites calling themselves Greeks. All right, who Paul was actually, you know, winning them over by teaching this gospel. Okay, so it says, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that called upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Or how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Or how shall they hear without a preacher? This is why the Lord sent out the prophets. So you wondering why these men out there teaching and saying what they saying and doing what they doing. You know, constantly in season, out of season, you can count on them that they out there, man, until the Lord removed them. If you're wondering, well, the Most High sent men out there to teach, man. Okay? He sent them out there to, um, excuse me, you know, to, to preach. Because how else would you know the Lord? You don't know the Lord unless you hear it by a preacher. You have to be taught. That's why it's a no good thing. It's a no good thing, a no, no good, you know, to want to do your own thing, man. And I mean, by doing your own thing, coming up with your own shit, coming up with your own name, your own doctrine, you know, that's what I mean, you know, doing your own thing and trying to climb up some other way when the path is already set. That's just like the Lord, here it is, there's a path and a straight way, a straight, you know, a straight, a straight, narrow path that you can walk down. But instead, you want to be prideful because you see the rest of the men going down that straight, narrow path. You want to be something different. So you cut corners. You think you're going to take a shortcut and get there before the rest of the, before the men, before the elect. And then what you're doing, you got to go through the bushes. You're down there working more harder. You're chopping down 
branches and shit when all you had to do was walk down the straight gate you know as 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 it was taught and told for you to do you know we are receiving that one penny and that penny represents salvation whatever the lord gives as as a you know reward that's what the lord gives because the lord has a ranking system all right there's going to be a rank among the elect just like there's an elect of the elect there's going to be a rank of the elect man you know those who are in charge those you know down the line man all the way by all the way down to ruling over uh having more order and power over the israelites the two the uh, two-thirds that die on this side because when they come back they're going to be newborn babes they're going to be regular citizens they're going to be great but then you're going to have the elect that's over them you know all the way down to ruling over the other nations man the lord is not the author of confusion all right so it says uh how shall they preach except they be sent so how can you preach the word unless you were sent by the Lord? It says, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And we truly are teaching the gospel of peace. And that peace is toward the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. It is our people. It is those people that need peace in this world, man. All right, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians, which are Hebrew Israelites. Okay, you have the Southern Kingdom and you have the Northern Kingdom, which we all being put in one, like it says in Ezekiel, on one stick, one big happy family, man. Not divided. Okay, the Lord is actually bringing them back together. He's not. He's bringing them back together from which He had divided at a time. Now He's bringing them back together. Our people need peace, man. All right? So, I'm going to end it with that. I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Makakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.